Hello family, I'm Sam Autry, one of the elders of Calvary Chapel and a co-leader with the men's ministry. My chapter today is chapter one, and the title is Give Me Success Today, a prayer of Eliezer. I would like to read that prayer. It's in Genesis chapter 24, verse 12 through 14. O Lord God of my master Abraham, Give me success today, and show kindness to my master Abraham. See, I am standing beside this spring, and the daughters of the townspeople are coming to draw water. May it be that when I say to a girl, please let down your jar that I may have a drink, and she says, drink, and I will water your camel too. Let her be the one you have chosen for your servant Isaac. By this, I will know that you have shown kindness to my master. That's a beautiful prayer. Well, that's a simple prayer from a simple guy. Eliezer was a simple servant of Abraham, and Abraham gave him a directive to seek a bride for his son, and he prayed. He prayed to, to the God of Abraham, but his prayer was simple. And the reason why I said he's a simple man it's because he was not a prophet, a priest, a, a king, a psalmist. He was just basically a servant, a nobody, a servant of Abraham. But he prayed to a big God, and God answered his prayer, as we will see. Second thing we see is he was a, not only a simple man, he prayed a simple, short prayer to God. Sometimes we take for granted that we need to that it's okay to pray short prayers, and we don't have to pray this long, extended prayer, right? But God is the one who's listening, and he's waiting to hear our prayers, no matter how long or no matter how short. But I'm encouraged that God answers short prayers also. But the third thing is, it was not only short, but it was a simple but specific prayer. He asks exactly what he wants. He asks for an example. He asks for for, for God to show the right girl for his master's son. And that was, he was very specific about it. And sometimes we think we, we pray these big general prayers because we're afraid God might not answer our prayers. And um, so, but he chose to be very specific. That's an encouragement to you and me that we should be very specific in our prayers because we'll never know what God plans to do after we've prayed. So, here is a quote in our text today that I would like to read to you. Because when you think about praying and asking God, don't hold back. Here's a quote that I want to read to you. I have come to assume that when it comes to asking in prayer, I have nothing to lose. If mine is not the right request offered at the right time, or if my motives are not quite right, what is the worst that can happen? God can say no. But if my request is something to which God can say yes, then by asking I may receive a blessing I would not have obtained otherwise. I would rather go to my grave being guilty of asking for more than I receive than for missing answers because I did not ask. So, brothers and sisters, the scripture says you have not because you ask not. Pray a simple prayer, even though you might be a simple person, but a great God is willing and able to answer our prayers. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much for this example of a simple prayer from a simple man. And Lord, a great God answers. Father, may our hearts be the same as, as Eliezer, as he prays to you, a great God, that you will answer. Thank you so much, in Jesus' name, amen.